Greetings everyone. Peace. What's going on? This is Sarita and we are doing your reading for this particular week. And I think it's um, for the 30th of August, which is a Sunday all the way until, let's see, the 5th of September. Okay, so the 30th of August to the 5th of September. That's what we're working with. So uh, I'm putting the video out early so that way you can get a preview of what's possibly may happen. But remember, nothing's engraved in stone and um, we have free will and that's it. I just want to tell you I appreciate you. Peace, love and light. And that's pretty much it. And have a wonderful week right now and do have a wonderful week next week also. All right. And I send you my love and I send you lots of energy of abundance. And the angels tell you, thank you for all that you are. Peace. Do check out your monthly readings. Um, and the readings for September will be following this video. Promise. So let's get into it and see what we have going on for you. Um, so we're using the, the two decks, like I said, um, Psychic Tarot for the Heart. To beautiful cards by John Holland and then we're using the Gilded Tarot deck just here um, and I just want you all to let me know what your favorite cards are I was wondering that what cards are your absolute favorite that we use in these um, card readings you know do let me know that all right so let's get into it let me shift around and um, let's see, first of all, what cards come up for you from the Gilded Tarot deck for the week of the 23rd through the 29th of August for all signs, all signs, sun, moon, and rising signs. First card coming up is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant has to do with someone who is wise, someone who is a teacher. A person could be a teacher by trade, but they just could be someone who has the element of teaching and they're good with instructing and guiding others. Okay, so I'm sensing that someone is definitely, I feel the energy of people looking into getting back into school very strongly and not knowing why. And if not, really coming to terms with a necessary need to get refocused, get recentered on school, and to take things to the next level. Finally starting to take school um, to be important as a result of needing to bring down to earth the things that they want to do um, to make those dreams real. And in this world, education is valued, um, but some of us, you know, uh, figure that we, you know, you have other ways to educate yourself. So that education could come from reading a certain book that you need to complete. Um, it could come from a mentor, someone like that, who helps to guide you along your way. And then some people are definitely returning to feeling more spiritual, um, having a having a feeling that it would be good for them to connect with certain uh, spiritual groups or religious groups so they can gain deeper understanding of themselves and of others, you know, and they're going to approach that in a new way. The other card coming up for you for this week is the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords has to do with very fast-moving energy. So when I see this, I see that happening very fast, um, you know, feeling... Uh, a, a need to move forward. And um, definitely Saturn is going, is already direct now, um, as of earlier this month. So things are moving ahead, finally, and it's good. And now a lot of people are definitely feeling the their, um, their things coming together for them. And it's a definite, it's definitely a good thing. Um, but the danger here with this energy too is, 
that you could find yourself um, dealing with some anxiety because you're not, you know, assimilating the lessons that you already have had come through, or you are trying to move along with this energy and it is moving so fast that you may not be able to keep up with it and everything is not able to be done and um, put into action maybe right now. Some of it has to wait. There's um, a way that has to be done step by step. So keep that in mind when you see this card, the Eight of Wands. The other card coming up is the Five of Swords. And there's an energy here that has to do with competition, with competing with others, with feeling like you have to be the first, you know, the first one to come up with the idea, the first one to think of it. And in the conversation, not really giving others a chance to say what they need to say, um, kind of focus on what you may want to say more than other people. When there may be somebody, I'm feeling like, um, a man or a woman who has that energy and they just come through, you know, and they are um, just so self-centered on what they're doing and they may not mean anything by it. Uh, it's completely innocent, but they are wanting to get their own agenda across and that means that everybody else's can just take a seat while they do their thing. And um, so this, you know, let this person have their say. Let this person have their say as long as they aren't being uh, disrespectful or what have you. But, you know, um, you may find yourself running into this person in your day-to-day. -day. And um, the way to be triumphant in this situation is saying, is just be silent. Let them say what they want to say. Let them exert their own energy. The next card coming up is the Ace of Pentacles. So when I see this card, I'm seeing new beginnings as far as finances are concerned and not feeling such a lack if you have, um, but new ways of making money, new ways um, to approach business, new ways to um, pull things down that you want to see in the world happen on a material level for material gain. And this definitely has to do with um this is an earthly and ener earthy energy you know and so it's not something that you're just wanting to visualize you want to actually see this happen you want it to come together and i also see for sure that um there's a wanting for two people to to come together as one underneath this energies but it is a new energy and it doesn't necessarily mean it's a new person but it is um it's it's like something is being renewed or something like that you know so um let's see what else is coming up we have this card the high priestess the High Priestess card coming up here next is intuitively. You kind of know and knew that things would start off. They'd start off very, very fast. And eventually, you'd be able to conquer it. You'd be able to conquer it. And any sort of defeats, mental challenges that have been there, they're falling away. The ability is definitely there, and it's time to start all over again. Because a lot of you have cleared your plate and made room for the newness to come in, so go with your gut feeling, fly in the moment, you know, and if it feels right, then take a look at it, contemplate it. When you get the high priestess, it's not a card that's just jump all in. No, it's not that. <laughs> It is a contemplative energy, so you definitely want to work with it that way. All right, the next card coming up, we have the World card. And the World card symbolizes lessons that have been great in a journey, coming to a full circle. Coming to a full circle and understanding is being taken in now. It's like the downloads from the universe are being put into place and you're actually gathering those things here some of you are just standing there and you're feeling um, these different gifts just drop into place and you're feeling like um, 
like a, a reborn person, renewed person, you know, so the relationship and different things like that with someone else is able to come through because you're feeling like that also and you've made room for it as well. So definitely a great energy right here. Definitely good cards. With the eclipses coming up, all that stuff, um, next month, you got Mercury retrograde, you have um, Venus, Venus is retrograde. You know, there's a newness um, that is already emerging and happening. By, I think it was the 26th, there's like a really strong energy happening. So that's why I had to get these out because I'm about to get extremely busy myself. The card coming up next is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups, fulfillment, wishes coming true, happiness, celebrations. Looks like somebody's having beer, wine, water, you know, cocktails, whatever. But it's time to definitely continue dreaming big because whatever that you can dream of, it can happen. It does require work. And the energy and support cosmically is there to support, and your guides are there to support you as well. So give yourself a pat on the back. This is good energy, good vibes. Okay? A person that is totally happy. So this week, good, good vibes sweeping through this week, and this is even towards the end of the week. The next card coming up for the week, we have what? The Two of Wands indecision on which path, which, which way to go, which one to choose. Not knowing whether to go right or left or to just go in the middle. And even there's certain obstacles that may be on the path, but you've got it right. You know, with the world energy, it's very important this week the certain insights that are coming through in the High Priestess card is letting you know that the insights that you're picking up on, you can trust them. Trust those insights coming through. May not be time to take the action right now. Maybe time just to contemplate it with these cards here. But you want to really take action and like you're really like on the way to doing it. But I don't see you doing it just yet. So look at why you want to do it. And look at the feeling of it. The Knight of Cups. Finally wanting, finally getting, finally hoping for a solution to a long-standing problem. This card shows me. We've got the Knight of Cups here. And this person is ready. They're ready to go. You know, and... They, they, it is a water card, but this person is not going to get stuck in their emotional feelings. They're not going to get stuck in feeling. They're going to feel, then take action. So you sense what needs to happen, what needs to be done. You sense the hurt, you feel it, you deal with it, and then you take the next step. What's the next step from where you are right now? You know, that's the question to ask yourself. And remember that love business, work, none of that stuff was born, and it didn't come together in a day. So you got to allow it, it's space to come together. All right, very powerful week. And the very final card for you from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle deck by by John Holland, we have for the week for everyone, for all signs, we have this. Rest and reconsider, which is the nine, the nine of wands. And why? Why rest and reconsider? Because it's going to be a very powerful time coming up. And um, you want to get ready for that. You want to rest while you have the time to before it gets extremely busy. I know I'm going to do it. You want to take a rest. You want to go off to yourself. And you want to let the lessons and the dreams and the insights 
You may hear it in songs and different verses. There may be certain, you know, certain keywords, certain synchronicities that come up at this time. And you want to let those things sink in. You want to be able to look at them and not dissect them, but just let them pass through, witness them, watch them in wonder of what is next. You know, every year more of what we want comes as a result of the seeds we've planted with our thoughts and of the work we've done. Because when you do the work, and it doesn't matter how big or small that work is, but the fact that you put your energy into it, it comes back to you. So rest and reconsider certain things. And now may not be the time to take that action. And that's quite all right. That's okay. But you will be able to. You will be able to, and you'll know when to do it. So you may feel a little sad right now, may feel overwhelmed more than anything, you know. But the clouds and the beautiful sky are there. All you have to do, once you're done, you know, having your time away, you go back and forth. You enjoy the world and you go off to yourself. You enjoy the world and you go off to yourself. Give yourself a break, whether you have children or not, a full, huge family. You can always go and take time for yourself. Someone can help you out. Just ask for the help, the angels said. All right. And the angels say no matter what, even if they did not show up in this reading, they're always there for you and with you. And just call on them when you can use their assistance. You have to request their help. Remember that, they say. You have to request their help. So they didn't show up in this reading because they wanted you to know that you have to request their help. And they're right there with you. All right. That is your reading. I do have new offerings. And if you will look in the bottom description area, you'll see those things that I'm offering. But do sign up for my newsletter. And that newsletter, you will find it at naturallyhighlife.com. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and for being here. Please like, subscribe, and share. I do work hard for you, and we've come a long way. Thank you all for being with me on this long journey of channeling and of all this stuff, the tarot and the oracles, and there's more to come. If there's something that you want to see, something that you would like to see on this channel, do let me know. Um, anything you'd like to know about me, leave it in the comments or email me at peaceismynature.com. And I look forward to working with you all one-on-one, -on -one, but I also look forward to next week when I can give you the next, re the next week's reading. All right, look for your September readings and definitely listen to your August too. There's a lot going on right now. All right, peace and love.